What's up everybody, Dauntlex12 here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the New Matter Mod T. You may remember this printer from some time lapses that I posted on the channel a really long time ago. I haven't really featured this printer much, in fact the last video I did with it was replacing that extruder when it stopped heating on me a while back. Well, as some of you also may know, on February 28th, New Matter actually shut down. Now this printer is cloud enabled from Wi-Fi on their website, which means now that the website is going down, you won't be able to use the printer anymore. So in today's video, I want to show you how to configure a Cura profile and print with it through USB. Let's get started. Alright, so now we're here on my desktop. So I want to go ahead and go to Chrome here, and you can see this is their website where it says that they did close Wednesday, February 28th. Now this is the cloud printing I was talking about. You can see the printer is not connected to Wi-Fi right now, even though it should be. But we can go to library here and these are models that have been uploaded before and these are things that you can print but since this is all going away you're going to have to do it with Cura now the current version of Cura is 3.2.1 and that doesn't work it puts the nozzle too close to the bed and it won't print and the film it just gunks up and it's going to cause a mess so don't even try it you need to download 15.4.6 this is from 2015 don't update it now you can see it automatically comes in with Ultimaker 2. That's because I have that set up for my other version of Cura and it just pulled it. Now what you're going to do is go to machine and add new machine. Or when you first open Cura this will be what comes up anyways. So hit next. Alright. Other because it's none of those. You can check or uncheck that. Next custom printer because it's also none of those. Now my T dash 2 is what I'm going to name it. Your machine whip X is 150, the Y is 100, well if I can go back up, and the Z is 125. It has a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and the bed center is 000. So finish and now you have your bed size. But before you can print with this you need to come over here to file, open profile, and you will download this cura.ini profile for the printer and it will update your settings. So now what you want to do is come up here to load, go to downloads, and here is an Omnom that I've downloaded. This is the little critter out of Cut the Rope. Game for your phone. Alright, now I'm not going to print this with a rasp, so I'm going to cut that off, and I'm also going to do a 10% infill. So now those are my settings, and it will now slice the model like it needs to be for the printer. So we just wait. Alright, 1 hour and 51 minutes, so save toolpath. Go to desktop, Omnom, that works, save. And now it has saved it. So now what you need to do now is go open this program, Mod T Printer Utility. This is from New Matter. You can see it says disconnected, even though the printer's on, as you can see from the DSLR video. So what I'm going to do is plug the USB cable in right here. Like so. And now you can see it says the printer is idle, which is right. It's not doing anything. So what you will do to print with this G-code file that you just made is come here to settings and go to advanced mode and print file. Be warned, if this file is not set up correctly, it will mess the printer up. It will do stupid stuff. So make sure to try. So what it's going to do is upload the file to the printer. And you can see it says sending print job. Now as you can see from the DSLR video in the corner of the screen, the button starts flashing on the printer. That means it's receiving the file. Now, once it uploads, feel free to unplug the USB cable after you push the button. You'll see what I mean in just a second. This printer being untethered, it has an SD card built in and it just downloads to this SD card and it prints from it and automatically gets rid of the file when it's done. So that's how that's going to work. So. Once you have uploaded the file, you can unplug your USB cable if you need to. If you want to monitor the print percentage and time-wise, you can leave it plugged in and it'll do that. But just keep that in mind. So we're going to wait for that to upload. And whenever it's ready, I will have to go press the button to start. So as soon as that gets to 100%, down here in this bottom corner, it will say press front panel button, button, button to start printing, like it does now. So if I reach over here and hit this button, you can now see that either on the screen or by the DSLR, it says calibrating. The bed is moving and it is going to start printing very soon. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and jump into a time lapse like we used to do and I will bring you back as soon as everything's done.
everybody. So you can see the printer is done here. Um, I do want to point out, Kira is wrong on the times. Kira said this was going to take about an hour and 50 minutes or something like that. This probably took four hours or better because I had time to go to the lake and come back and then we worked on an old tractor that we're trying to get running and it still wasn't finished. Uh, it's been done for about an hour now. I've got the time lapse, uh, but I haven't been here. So uh, I want to go ahead and pull this model off. It's still stuck to the bed and I want to put it on a little turntable so you can see the quality uh, with the settings that were used. So let's go ahead and pull this off. Now this is PLA only on this printer, just so you know, so you can see it wasn't stuck there very hard. Uh, so I'll go ahead and insert the turntable clip here now. And also one more thing I want to talk about is a update for the channel. So as soon as the turntable clip is gone, we will do that. Alright, so hopefully you learned something on this video on how to use the Mod T with Cura. Uh, there's the little um nom, you actually can't see him, but we just found it on the turntable. Um, what I want to go over now real fast here is the future of the channel. As you know, videos come very slowly on this channel. This is how the greenhouse videos, so there was three of them in a row within a couple of weeks. Well, now a 3D printing video should be like that. Um, I do have some time around school and work and stuff to make the videos. Um, I'm on spring break from school right now. I actually go back tomorrow, but I will be making a video tomorrow in between the classes. So, this right here is the Micro M3D Plus. I was sent this printer to review, so in the next video, or one of the next videos coming up, that printer will be reviewed, and they also sent me the heated bed and some different filaments to try, but as you remember, this is the micro original, and that video got somewhere really close to 20,000 views, so the channel is growing. Now, this is the TiVo Little Monster Delta. This printer is 4 feet tall and it prints 600 by 600 by 1200 millimeters tall. So it's the biggest print volume that I have high bandwidth wise. And then right beside of it there you can see I do have a Lucky Maker 2 Plus now. Um, it is a 2 with the upgraded nozzle and extrusion system which turns it into a 2 Plus. So it is a 2 Plus. The Da Vinci is right on the other side of that, you just can't see it. And then there's the Monty behind me. And I also have the person over on the other side of the wall that had it for years and it's broken and I can't fix it. So 3D printing will be coming on the channel, more videos, um, I've got some big projects I want to make. There's this table down here is full of filament, uh, I've probably got 15 or 20 rolls down there that will eventually get used up. I still have a roll of Ninja Flakes that I can't print on anything, but those two micro printers will run the filament. I just have to get it to stick and extrude correctly, so that'll be one of those videos that we experiment with. So anyways guys, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for the next video. And YouTube's been kind of quirky here lately, so if you want to get updates on the next video, remember to check that notification bell so you'll know when I get uploaded. See you, and take care. Also, one more thing before you guys go, if you're still here. I had an Apple Watch and I upgraded to Android, which is one of the best things I've ever done getting away from the old iOS system. But, as you may know, the Apple Watch didn't work anymore. So, I got a watch from Lux brand. Uh, if you go to luxbrand.co, I'll leave the link in the description, and use coupon code DaltonX12 with a capital D, I'll also have that in the description. You can get 20% off your entire order. They have sunglasses, watches, and a lot of other stuff that you can get on the website. So go ahead and go check them out.